Welcome to Chapter 3 of Blood 2 The Chosen. Last time a cutscene bugged out again, but I got to kill an NPC instead of the other way around. Today, we're learning random attacks from ISIS are still a problem for Kabalko, apparently. Anyway, before we get properly started, let's go back to the meatpacking plant. As your evil twin mentioned in the thread on Something Awful, there's a secret weapon here, and as far as I've been able to ascertain, this is the only spot it shows up in during the game. This is the Cabalco Death Ray. And it is a very good weapon. Anyway, today we're making our way to Cabalco's main headquarters in Newtown. We're getting closer to the heart of their power, so of course this means things are only get more and more difficult. You can stand a chance! And I don't mean just by even more fanatics either. You wouldn't do that. The exit's just across this bridge, but we can't lower it from here. I blame you. Anyway, the bridge is named after Frank Cotton, the first victim of the puzzle box from the 1986 novel The Hellbound Heart and its 1987 film adaptation Hellraiser. <laughs> and the controls for the bridge are down too. Nothing's ever that easy, is it? Fortunately, the door controls to get further below and fix the problem ourselves still work. Be careful coming down ladders, by the way. You can't look straight down, so climbing down usually involves either catching on the rungs or throwing yourself off of it at high speed. Let's check in here first. Uh, life essence I don't need an award. Not exactly what I was hoping for at this stage. That's right, who's laughing now? Did any of you even notice the shell casings come out from the muzzle of this gun? I can't imagine what the Cabal thinks a guy in a fancy suit needs to be doing in the sewer. Now we're cooking with gas. Anyway, this level had another cutscene that was removed from the game in exchange between Gideon and the mad scientist. Time to head back to the bridge. All the ladders are broke though, so we have to find another way around. I am death. Who wants some? Off my head! Red is definitely our color. Our destination is on the other side of that fence. It's not a long trip, but, well, you'll see. Yes, that's a prophet with a sniper rifle. And yes, the game is very specifically choosing this moment to fuck me over on damage. And yes, this fanatic just fired the napalm launcher twice another half a second. At this point, the behemoth becoming a regular enemy is just the cherry at the top. Also, watch out for Tezokin and secondary fire. Wear it. I am 
death. Want some? Oddly, bullets don't damage enemies through gratings like this, but they apparently do impart momentum. Items in the boxes up there fall through it too, so it's easier to just break them from down here. We're on the other side of that fence now. You can use these crates to climb up to the rooftops, but unless you're particularly hurting for sniper rifle ammo and want to try grabbing the one off that profit, there's no need. More presentos and a medkit. Lucky. In fact, let's try one out. Little C4 knocking at your door. Finally, the way out is cleared. Next time, we're blasting our way through a checkpoint. Stock up on the 556.